Alright, uh, in this video I'll show you how to make your own or set up your own SMF forums. First you want to download SMF by going to www.simplemachines.org uh, Go to download. You want to download the full install zip for SMF 1.1.5. Save it. To download that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then you want to go. I'm going to be using X10 hosting. You can use whatever you want. But some of this stuff won't make sense because not all uh, hosts have the same control panel. So. But I'm using. Oh, sorry. I'm going to use Add Enhanced uh, Corporate. and it'll bring you up to a page that looks like this just click go through and sign up sign up for their forms and put it right there register an account and then it'll send you two emails and the second one will look something like this uh, log in to your control panel go to that link and you'll have to log in but I'm already logged in create a MySQL database with using the wizard just name it something uh, all privileges check and return home you want to go to file manager When you first get in, you'll find a whole bunch of stuff. You can just delete that, select all, delete it. Uh, then you want to go to upload, browse, browse to the SMF file that you downloaded, zip, and upload. It should take a second. Uh, if you're not going to be using X10 hosting, uh, this you're gonna have to have an FTP client and upload the SMF files through that it's just I like this better because it makes everything much easier but uh, yeah after that's done it'll say that and you can just close it uh, you want to extract the full folder file And there you go, you can delete that if you want now. And then you want to go to your website, which mine is x miss x dot uh, x10 hosting dot com. I'm going to do forward slash install dot php. Hit enter. And it will bring you up to a page like this. Uh, your name, whatever, you can put whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it the same. Uh, don't mess with any of this stuff over here. Uh, keep the MySQL server name, localhost. Your username is, uh, well, you can find it by going to MySQL databases, and it'll be right here. Well, no, yeah. No, right here. password, whatever you put it to, uh, database name, it's right there, and then just click proceed, uh, your username for your forms, and then your MySQL database password once again, and then just click finish, check this right here, and then click that. And there you go, you have your own. Oh, uh, sorry about that phone. Um, but there you go, that's your forms. You can go to admin and add whatever. Uh, thanks for watching.